Hi, I'm Wanda from Alanda Craft and today I'm going to show you how to make twisted pinwheels using two different tools and I'm going to do a comparison of the two of them. So let's get on and show you how to do it. Now when you're using these tools, the first thing you need to do is to create a pattern grid. Now I'm going to make a very simple one today. It simply has the four squares in the middle and a border. Uh, they can get quite complex and so you need to work out your colour values so that they stand out nicely. But as I say, this is just a simple one with my squares in the middle and my border. And when I cut this out using the tool, this is what I will end up with. So the first tool we're going to talk about is the little twister from Twisted Twister Sisters. And as you can see, it's a square and it has some offset lines on it. And it also has some pads to help it uh, adhere to the fabric. So the, this is a three and a half inch. It does come in sizes from two and a half to ten inches. And it comes with a pattern uh, for a table runner, which is included with my, my tool. And this is the table runner here. Uh, and it looks really, really nice. I'm very, very pleased with how that turned out. So what you need to do is take the tool and you line up those black lines on your seam lines. Now I found this was a bit awkward to uh, to use at the start. And make sure you do have a, a fresh blade in your rotary cutter. Alright, so you press down and we're going to cut up here and along here. Okay, so far so good. And this is where I tended to come a bit unstuck. I was cutting this one. I found this very awkward. It gets easier as you go along. Uh, the more you use the tool, of course, the easier it always becomes. Now, just lift the tool off. And we lift out the square. Now, when you're cutting these squares, make sure you keep them in order. Uh, they do suggest that you sew them each row as you cut it. I just tend to lay it out somewhere so that I've got it uh, nice and handy and I just lay them one beside the other. So I lay that over there. Now you just come along and you bring the tool again, lining it up on your seam lines like that. And we're going to cut the next one. On here. I really like the effect of the twisted um, pinwheels. I think they look really, really, really nice. Okay, and sometimes you get that. Simply just very carefully just cut that thread. It's not the tool's fault, that's my fault for not enough pressure. But as I say, you will get used to it. And we lay that one just there, like that. And you can already see the top of the pinwheel is starting to form. So then we come back and again on to the next one. They do tell me that you can cut these up. I use these for crumb quilting, but you can use the little um, twister, sew them together and make another, use, use that tool on these bits. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the June Taylor. This is the twist and stitch. Now this one already comes with all of these on here, so that goes from a 3.5 to a 10.5. And, and I actually do like this very much, but I'm a big fan of June Taylor's rulers. It's exactly the same. And I'm going to cut on the three and a half inch line. So again, it's got the um, the lines there that you line up on your seams, and it's got the grooves where you put your rotary cutter to cut. So just twist it to the side a little bit to get it and to get it started. Now I find this easy to use. This one I really, really liked. Um, and then just turn it round. Line it up again, and again we just go into the groove and cut along here. 
bulbs. I do have a new blade in here so I shouldn't be having those problems. I'll just move these up a bit so you can see them, where we're at. Right, so then we move our ruler along, line it up on the seam lines, and again, we're going to just cut. Oops, it's moved. Now I did find that the uh, groove was a little tight when I first used it, so I just ran a rotary cutter blade, an old blunt one, just through the groove, just to loosen it up a bit. And they, they loosen up as you, the more you use them, of course, and so the grooves become easier for your blade to go into. Having a little bit of problem with that. And here we are, we're on the last piece now. So either of these tools are excellent, um, as I say, the other one, the little twister one, just takes a little bit of getting used to to start with. I find this one a lot easier straight out of the, the box. So there we are. I've cut all the pieces out and I'll sew them together with a quarter inch seam, saying one on top of the other. And uh, you can see how the twisted pinwheels look. And of course we'll end up with a piece that looks like this. And you can use this for a variety of, um, of items and I'll show you a few in a moment. So here's some of the things you can make. You can see here I've made this black and white table runner. Really like the way that's turned out. You can finish off your quilts with a border by using these small um, twisters, pinwheel twisted. You can make a cushion cover. Now the, we bought this pattern from Twister Sisters and it came with five different designs. Uh, this one here is an all over design and we used Moda, a Moda charm pack for that. And then we have this cushion here made with larger uh, twisted pinwheels. So if you've enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. It really helps to keep us going on YouTube.